Hey viewers, got something new tonight. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make a chain whip tool. These are a couple of the chain whip tools I already have. This is a Park Tool SR2, and this is like a shop grade uh, chain whip, uh, or SR stands for sprocket remover. And anyway, it's, it's a pretty nice solid tool. Here's another uh, smaller one. I think this is uh, made by Sunlight, but I'm not sure. And this is a little less expensive. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to make a chain whip pretty easily. First off, I bought a piece of flat bar here. This is steel. It's uh, 3 16 by 1 inch and it was 3 feet long, even though I didn't need the full 3 feet. I actually cut it down to 18 inches. So if you can find a shorter piece, that's fine. Or if you got a piece of scrap around. Um, so anyway, that's what I got here. It's an 18 inch long by 1 inch wide by 3 16 inch thick. The next thing I did was I drilled three holes into this uh, bar uh, using a 9 64 inch drill bit. I probably could have used a 1 8 inch drill bit if I could have found it, but um, these two holes here are just a hair over two inches apart. And then these two holes over here are about a half inch apart. And it doesn't need to be super precise. And I want to make sure that they're just a little ways away from the edge of the bar. Using a uh, chunk of chain that I pulled off a bike, you know, that was just worn out, I cut off a couple sections of chain. So this part here um, has three uh, sections of the outer plates and two uh, inner plate sections. So there's uh, outer plates at both ends of that. And then this piece uh, ends with an outer uh, uh, plate section there and then goes down and has, um, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh, seven total outer plate uh, parts and ends with like an inner plate part here like that. And then I went ahead and cleaned it just make a little nicer. Now the next thing you're going to need is some small M3 by 0.5 millimeter screws and these are 10 millimeters long and then I also got some matching nylon lock nuts and these are again M3 by uh, 0.5 and you need three of them. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the, the little section with the two uh, outer plate parts at each end slide this on here like this take a bolt or a little screw and slide that down through the hole like that take this part here and these plates are going to be a little tight here to get on over this bar slide that in to line it up with the hole there and then slide a screw down through there like that. And then you got the other little section here. Slide this on like this. Line up with the hole there. And drop the screw in like that. Flip it over. And you're going to go ahead and put the lock nuts on. And there you go. A uh, homemade uh, chain whip uh, sprocket remover tool. And you want to leave these uh, screws just a little bit loose. The lock, uh, the lock nuts will kind of hold them on there to keep them from loosening. But go ahead and leave it so that these will pivot on there a little bit. Anyway, that's how you make one of these. You can wrap the handle with some tape or whatever you want to do. Anyway, I hope you found this uh, video useful or interesting if you have please click the like button i always appreciate getting likes on my videos and if you're not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel uh, click the big yellow subscribe button down here and you'll see uh, future videos as they come out anyway thank you for watching